Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Baylor. I want to talk uh, in this segment a little bit about how uh, we diagnose sleep apnea. Uh, sleep apnea can be diagnosed um, with uh, as simple as somebody observing you while you sleep to see what happens. So most of the time patients will come in to see me because their spouse uh, will or significant other will tell them that they are first of all snoring very loudly but then the second thing is, is that they see that they are at times uh, pausing their breathing. When we see that, then that means we need to investigate further. Small amounts of pausing during breathing can be normal, but if it's anything beyond that, then we need to do a sleep study to find out uh, if they indeed have significant sleep apnea. Nowadays, these sleep studies can be performed either in a sleep lab, where you go to a particular place and they monitor your sleeping overnight, to see if you do indeed stop breathing. During that, they also check your oxygen levels to see what levels uh, your oxygen goes down to if you are indeed holding your breath. And they also check your brain waves. Um, now, many uh, insurance companies are having people do home sleep studies. And those are nice because you get to do it in your own bed. And what happens is, is that they bring you all the equipment, teach you how to use it, you sleep with it for one night, and then they uh, take the equipment back from you and then send us a report. From that, we can decide if you do indeed have sleep apnea and how we can treat it.